Second game about to get underway here this afternoon in the Holson Cup round two. East Tigers take on the South Logan Magpies. Carol jo uh, Michael joins myself, John Levine, Carol John and <laughs> Michael Devine are here on the commentary this afternoon here. Sun's starting to set here at Bishop Park, Pathian Stadium. Carol, I'll let you go through the uh, east side quickly if you like. Yep, uh, out the back, uh, Coolwell, Te Oka, Mapusia. Uh, number four is uh, Vomalai Tulapai. Uh, five is Botton, six. Eldridge, 7, Kamita, 8, Theodore, 9, Pilk Parkin, 10, Cook, 11, Reeves, 12, Door, 13, Knight. Uh, she's actually playing, sorry, playing oh. she's actually wearing 21, Knight. Well, he's gone a dead in goal here, so the Tigers will have to do a line drop out here, Carol. Sorry, away you go. Nope, that's all, all right. All done. Uh, yet there's the uh, Kika skipper, uh, Setsuta, uh, Moore and Lafipo on the bench. Right behind him. So the East Tigers will have to do a line drop out here. They've got the breeze at their back here. So for the for the, the Tigers is Steph Hancock, the try scorer, gets her first carry and muscles her way within 18, short of the try line. Eight and a dummy half. Loses the football and the Panthers, sorry, the Tigers will come away with a footy wrong cat. <laughs> That's right, we've a quick turnaround here this afternoon. Zero. Dar from dummy half. Yeah, cool. Cook gets a few metres from that play. The ball. Ladbrook Parkin. Sotia gets a good carry. Twelve short halfway. We'll go through the South Logan Magpie shortly. The next break. No look past to the far side. Finds. The halfway line has been crossed here by the Tigers. Still a couple of tackles to go here for for them. Theodore. Up now. Draws two or three to defenders to Theodore. East. Had a back line out there, but the Panthers, sorry, the uh, Magpies defence just comes up in that un umbrella defence and shut down any movement out wide. Kamita puts a kick in the air. Upton's at fullback, takes it nicely, not a lot of heat. As Upton beats the first tackle, but not the second. For the South Logan Magpies, Upton and Maddock are the wingers, Della Cruz and Smalley in the centres, Ward and Say are the halves, Hancock, Aiton and Albert in the front row, and the first penalty of the match goes to South Logan. In the halves, Jamie Lee Lewis, Mikao and Brander is the hooker. On the bench, Haura, House, Gallagher, Sawani, Solomona and Saluni for the South Logan Magpies as Ward finds touch here on the, the hillside of Pathian Stadium, home of the North Devil Bears, broadcast to you live on the Q Connect Network. And welcome to our New Zealand friends who are watching afar while they're having their dinner, I'd imagine, being when you're ready. 6 o'clock. Yes, of course, uh, one-point win by Meg Ward's boot in a field goal over the Panthers last week. Yes, you just joined us. The Panthers have been involved, and this time it's a draw of 8 all against... The Burley Bears. So the Fantastic footy, John. The legend continues. It's with Albert and Albert trying to Oof. get through there. She scored a try last week. Albert from PNG unable to make the uh, the team of the week because we only uh, select the uh, the Queensland players. But it's great to see Albert down here playing some fantastic rugby league. So those of you watching in PNG, we welcome you also. The South Logan Magpies, the first opportunity to put some points on the ball. They go out the back as with Upton. Cut out ball. Try time in the corner. And they go over the South Logan Magpies. Yeah, that's right. Uh, cut out ball there. Upton involved in everything. Uh, yep. Only been going a few minutes. She must have touched the ball five times. I think it's Smalley in the corner. Yep. We'll get the confirmation from the ground announcer. A long way away from where we are. And the first points come in the way of scoring the corner for the South Logan Magpies after the kickoff. Was allowed to go dead in goal, so a line drop out here for the Tigers. So they were on the back foot. And a long conversion attempt here for... Yeah, East were... Uh, last yep, last small week... Smalley's a try scorer. Sorry. Last yep. week I noticed uh, East were tackling a little bit high, not uh, dangerous high, but high rather than around the uh, around the legs. So um, I think they, they need to keep that down with this bigger crew from... Uh, bigger crowd from uh, South Logan. They're too big to tackle them front on, so they'll need mm. to get their legs out from under him. Yeah, the Tigers have been 
blessed with the inclusion of Chelsea Baker. Another Tweed player eligible must be residing on this side of the border. Yeah, and a course. reminder that Tweed Seagulls may not be playing today, but that's a great conversion from wow. the sideline. Oh. And Ward comes up with the first conversion of the afternoon, do you mind? <laughs> so it takes the lead 6 0. Yes, the Tweed Seagulls, but uh, not out of the competition as yet. Just a minor hiccup. I'm sure the QRL and Queensland Government will find a solution to have the Tweed Seagulls back in this competition next week. But we'll worry about that next week as East look to restart yep. with Chelsea Baker, of course, last, uh, as we were saying. Tweed Seagull last week, Tiger this week. Oh, how good was that? So gets on a knee and takes a tuck, gives it off to Steph Hancock. Hancock playing like she's a 20-year-old again. Yeah, talk Big to, carry. Talk to Annette Brander during the week. She reckons she's uh, lying about her age. Reckons she's younger than she's saying. Yeah, Lewis now <laughs> steps off the left, finds some a lot of Tigers waiting to pounce on her, but she's... Her carry has just been outstanding in the last two weeks. Steph Hancock. And yep. I'm talking about... As you said, uh, down that right wing last week for that try, winger's try. Oh, it would have been scored from 40 out by midnight last Saturday night. <laughs> Step back, I should have chucked a few more metres on that. Don't worry about that. It's now with Upton and Upton coming into the line here to create an extra man. Gets the ball out the back. It's been picked up by Albert. Referee says knock, knock on. Play on. It's with Amelia Cook. And Cook will have to step back inside. Otherwise, you'll find the chalk of the sideline. Has a bit of a wrestle there as Clark, uh, Clark Baker has to come in and help out. Gets the offload. It's still with Upton. Not held, says the referee. Upton. Lovely ball here. Oh, is he going to hang on or try to get through to TRKO? And takes in the touch. I'm sorry. Dela Cruz. Yeah, nice hands there to uh, keep hold of it. But... Uh, couldn't keep an eye on what was coming out of then. So ran into a wall of Tigers. Yeah, Dela Cruz. Couldn't believe it. A good offload there and Upton. Presence of mind to be in support to wait for that offload as they wait for the scrum to be set 10 out from the try line. 6 0 in favour of South Logan. Trying to go back to back after their 13 to 12 win in the final minute last week at Franklin Oval. Tigers will come away with it. East, I think, won one, lost one last week, is that right? Yeah, they lost to Burley and won against Tweed. We'll have a points update for you next break of play. Here's Ladbroke Parking goes from Dart. Dummy half is Kamita, who was good. Her kicking game was exceptional last week. She finds Mapusa. Mapusa skips out of one before she gets a beautiful shot underneath the roof from Steph Hancock. Hello. Snap, crackle and pop go the rib cage after Hancock rides in. And here we go now, the, the Tigers trying to get across there is Satia. And Satia will be just pulled down by Albert, 12 short of halfway. They go to the blind side here, the, the Tigers. And Eldridge will be reined in. Last tackle now here for East Tigers. Breakdown of communication. The wobbly old kick's been put through and Upton. Well, Upton, is, she's a, not much to her, but decides to run straight into her opposite number and cool well and they take the tackle. Yep. That's guts. Not much there, but it's all tough. Yep. Halfway line. It's denied by... Oh, could be wrong. That might be Smalley. The right centre has come over to do some work on the left-hand side. No, probably not. <laughs> That's the winger. Dela Cruz. Bo Dela Cruz, if you're watching. It's fantastic rugby league. And Jess McLean, the coach of the Marston State High School in the Langer Cup, which will be... Also live stream on the Kurimar website. So there's a lot of rugby league action happening in Queensland. It's the like rugby league capital of the world at the moment, Queensland. This is where it's all happening. It's, you can get all sorts of rugby league from schoolboys to women's and the NRL. And BRL also this afternoon. Sayo puts a kick over the top here. Has to come and scramble. Picks up nicely this Coolwell. And Coolwell will be tackled right in the corner. So a good attacking set again from the South Logan Magpies. It's been some great uh, full backing. Uh, already today, Man, isn't they? Mm. Fantastic Wade, to watch. Wade, Thank you. Gets away from the first tackle, not the second as uh, Mapusa. <laughs> Penalty. Levels it up, one. does the referee, one apiece. So just uh, sorting out who'll take the kick here. Well, they got the breeze at their back, which will help. Just 
Looks like it might be swinging around. Maybe. So, Theodore. <laughs> Bounce off Lewis. Runs into Hancock. Theodore still gets up. <laughs> There's a pair for you. <laughs> Holy smokes. Like bouncing off one wall into another one. Yeah. Albert over the top. Oh, no, Albert, Albert's about to square off now. Oh, oh shot from the side. It's a beauty there from Mikao. She's up. Well, uh. scrum feed. Mikao comes through, and I thought that was a head that flew out. It was a ball. <laughs> I actually thought they flipped it too, but it uh, was in fact the ball that came loose, and uh, every, I think everybody who saw that shot can understand why. Referee in this match is Josh Vernon. Touches the Kelly beating and Yelena. Hardeen, who did the previous game, so well done to them, getting a lot of experience of the touchies. Can't play without the three in the middle. That's the, the 20, show and go here by Ward. They're away to it, and they, she draws three defenders. One of those is Theodore. Ward will walk off the mark, but play on, says referee, as Lewis steps off the left again, as Lewis not able to get to the, the 40. Wards with the footy, long pass to uh, an East player, unfortunately, Vermili Tolapaya comes up with the footy, so Ward on radar off a little bit, and now the Tigers have got a chance as Cook goes forward, and Cook will get to the 30 metre line now. South Logan Magpies forced to defend. Hooker is Ladbrook Parkin, stepping off the left and right is Satuya, and she'll get across the, the 30, centre of the park here, 22 out from the try line. Tigers again, they go to the the sports club's line is with uh, Coolwell. Coolwell, Coolwell, trying to get across the trial and gets there. It is Coolwell. <laughs> She's got some toe. Coolwell, the fullback, uh, doing great things at both ends of the paddock here. Uh, caught that caught that low one that came in just a moment ago from South, and now she's across the, across the line herself. Good wingers. Uh, wingers just, they don't need a lot of room. They just pin the ears back and go straight forward and if anything comes across and knock them off, so be it. But they just have this radar like an arrow to go straight yeah. for the corner. They, they don't divert from their radar and they just go straight for it. <laughs> Get ball run fast. That's, that's it. Uh, that's what happened there. So uh, well, You drive for show and you putt for dough and that's what she did. <laughs> this is, well, let's see. Meg Ward was able to pull one over from the sideline and one of the best kickers in the game and Chelsea Baker is going to see if she can square this I've learnt Second my lesson, so I'm not going to say anything. But mm, come on, Carol. <laughs> We've seen her do it before. Yes, yeah, so the points before this game uh, this afternoon, the Burley Bears are on top on oh. three, South Logan Magpies on two, West Brisbane on one, East on one, and Tweed Seagulls zero points. Uh, the Burley Bears won two games, but they got a bonus point sorry one two hards I got a bonus point they gave them their three points those yep. points this afternoon um, will be updated after this game East uh, I was right East eight defeated Tweeds four last week kick waved away from Chelsea Baker sorry Carol yep just saying yeah and uh, defeated uh, beaten by the Bears East were last week 12 zip so they were turning around, playing th halves against different sides last week. 6-4. Mm, Magpies stay in front. 16 and a half still to go, first half. That might be... Uh, is that Ellie Briggs out in the middle there with the footy? Yep. There she is. Trainer. She'd love to be putting... Uh, she's got boots on, but not the ones she wants. As Ward will get things underway. Let's see what sort of kick she has this time. Pick Ginger. It's all right if you've got the Queensland captain picking up your kicking tee. Yeah. Got to start little. Theodore. <laughs> Goes for a carry. Lewis the tackler. I'm not afraid to use their backs here, the Tigers. Rob Ruff. A wall of forwards to call upon in defence. And they're stepping up, but there's three or four of them involved in the tackle there. And Hancock and Albert 
He's certainly done some super recruiting. Door. Well, Door is probably one of the most explosive back rowers in the game here. Half a chance if she'll just smack away towards the try line. Short ball. That from Kamita. Finds a, a carry over the, the 40 meter line. Last tackle down here for the Tigers. Blind side that goes. Kamita puts it in the air and up and has no problems following that one. Gets away from Kuhl. Now Kuhl hangs on to her and pulls it down along with a little bit of help. I have to try and uh, make up and do a bit more work than that. Mapusa gets it. Does an effective tackle. Reeves does. Lewis almost loses the pill there, Lewis, before she reins it in onto her hip. Gets the offload now. And here we go. It's with the Ladbrook Parkin. Gets the offload now for Amelia Cook. Amelia Cook dances out of one. And Amelia Cook get across the halfway line. Oh, she's an elusive customer. Yeah, Amelia Cook's feet. Well, I guess herself a penalty. Yeah, Amelia Cook's feet are just fantastic. Watch her next time she runs, folks. Something special. So Ward, they're not going to go for touch. Like I said, there is a uh, breeze favouring the Tigers. It's coming from your bottom left to top right of screen. It's now with Ward. So they're going to throw some big bodies at the line. Pick off the ball. Get green marker. Wait, a step. Getting up to play there is Mikao. Ward. Now Sayo gets the offload to Lewis, and Lewis has had his early legs cut out from underneath her. Blind side. Dancing and weeding there from Sayo again. Finds a ball runner. Trying to get through. Upton. Upton. Upton for the try line. Upton trying to get away. Goes all the way and scores and try the fullback. Uh, not much. Uh, not much the East. Defence could do about that. She had too much room to move and too much toe there, Upton. Cut herself a nice angle and uh, pretty close to the uh, uprights, so it'll be an easier kick for Meg Ward. So five minutes after Coolwell scores, the fullback from the Tigers. Upton decides to show how it's done herself and a clean set of heels. Like I said, not much to her. Boy, oh boy. To make you pay with just a snip of a a gap and through it she ran and like the wind she <laughs> That's blew right. to the try line against all odds. The Tigers a lot of work to be set underneath the goalposts here as they try and wrestle this contest back. Ten four and as Meg Ward should. <coughs> Meg Ward will put two <laughs> points on the board here. I'm Lot very of, confident um, about this one. <laughs> Take These pl players, of course, uh, looking to play in state of origin for Queensland. Many of them. Yeah. So, uh, well, then our LWs first, obviously, on their list, trying to get a, a signing on that one. And then origin is obviously the ultimate goal and obviously the Gillaroos. Uh, there's a bit of... Bit of classical music comes piping across the stadium. <laughs> it's hard to uh, hard to think who would have been uh, replaced in that top side. It was pretty pretty good side. Hard to crack into, you'd think, but well, plenty think of they, young talent breathing down their neck. I think you just got to throw out the the, the eighteen that they named last year and just start afresh because there's so much time been lost from football. It's sure. all based upon, yeah. uh, upon uh, six weeks of football here. That's a low kick here from Clark into the sun. Gets away from Lewis, but finds instead the winger over there, Matic. Matic will get up and play it eventually. Slowly had her on her back, so it took a little bit longer for her to wrestle herself to her feet. As Smalley will get up and absolutely smash back. Didn't get too many more minutes there, Smalley. Dar from dummy half. He's chance down the sideline away. Go to the South Logan Magpies coming across, trying to affect the tackle is cool. Well, <laughs> and goes into touch. Got it that time. Didn't have enough. Uh, who was that there? And who's that masked player with the hat on? <laughs> well, you might be an eight in the, the hooker. Here we are. And that scrum will be fed. 12 out from the line, so eight in the hooker. Made a bust down the sideline. I imagine if it was in the hands of Upton or, yeah, it is eight. or Maddox, they might have gone all the way there, but the little legs were pumping fast. Yep, that was a great uh, great tackle issue. Cool wasn't going to let another one get past her. So. 
So Aiken, he's got to watch her. He's this is one. frenetic, John. <laughs> yeah, had the week off. Turn it off. Let's go, ten. And they're back into wait, it. Wait. Ward the tackler. Sharon going there from Kahika Skipper. Just happy to be playing. Most of the on? people wait, I've talked to. Just pleased to be back. So. So Eldridge finds a ball runner there. In yeah, door. Good Go carry to door to the 10 mid line. I'm trying to put it through the hands here, the East Tigers. Well, they, get, they thought about the offload. Didn't get it. They're going backwards yeah. in the meanwhile. And finally, end up in the hands of the Tigers. 5 8. Who gets That's the a kick and one. settles it all down. Good kick there from Kamita. Yeah, that was a better one keeping that away from Upton and along the ground. Upton was swallowing everything that went up in the air before, so. So both teams from that last game will get 1.5 points to oh, go to well. their tally. Because it's a draw, so thanks to our statistician, our own little Wendy Winbush, if you will, Cameron Stallard, breaking so, up uh, using the abacus down. And, uh, but Panthers were ahead in the, weren't they ahead in the first uh, half? For all. Four all half time. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's what it is. I thought they didn't get that until after the half time. Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, no, they I've might have won the first half. I've got the amnesia. No, you are right. They did score first, though, the, the, uh, the Burley Bears. And that's a differential penalty. Do you mind? The last time I saw a differential penalty, I think Eddie Ward was <laughs> officiating the 1980 grand final. Well, that was Meg Ward that just kicked it. Maybe that's where maybe. he got confused. Differential penalty, a scrum penalty, do you? Dear Outrageous. Me. I wonder what went wrong in there. No, well, that's fantastic. <laughs> I was one of the late great Mitch Cronin was involved in one of my other favourite plays, and that being the mousetrap. Himself and Mitch Moore to score a try. So there's a couple of little funky little things that happen in rugby league you don't see very often. And one of those is obviously the, the differential penalty is Hancock. They were waiting for her. Didn't get as many metres that time. Was that Hancock? No, it wasn't. There's Hancock now. Gets a lot of attention, as you'd expect from the origin prop forward, former skipper. They go to the blind side, Aiken. Tigers are in all sorts at the moment on that left-hand edge. That's where Aiken's sending the traffic. Has a go with Ward. Takes it to the line. Albert lurking, but Ward decides to hang on to the footy there, and Satia will grab her. Last tackle now here for the South Logan Magpies, 22 metres out. Sayo puts a kick over the top here. A lot of heat and nicely taken in the back there by Coolwell. And she'll go so close to the chalk. Seven minutes, seven and a half minutes remaining. First half, Wholesome Cup, game number two here this afternoon. Live broadcast on the Hugh Connect network. QRL.com.au. I'd, like I'd like to vote against the yellow numbers. I can't see them. I'm too old. They're a bit tough. Yep. Aiken flies high and jumps on her like a, like a squirrel. <laughs> pulls her down. Door lurking. Oh, they were waiting for her. And gets cut in half and pulled down. Time by Warden Company. Going a little bit high there. Let it go. Amelia Cook. Not affecting the tackle. Finally, the weight of numbers just brings the play to the game. Baker gets the offload as they're running out of Bishop Park. It's the last second. I don't think any of these Tigers players know that. And it'll be a changeover, nine minutes short of the halfway line. I don't think they knew. Yeah, yeah see the difference, the experience of Baker there on that pass, sort of obstructing the player coming across as she threw it. No, just the younger players not quite onto that mm. trick yet. Cody Slaughterhouse gets the offload now to Albert, and Albert charges across the halfway line. I see Cody House out in the park, starts Up off the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little knock. Wait. Wait. He's on the hips there, just sucking the big ones in as they can waste the play the ball. Playing a bit of a different role this season, I guess, different team, so. Mm. Okay, we'll get up and play. They're going to go again to the to the sports club side. Upton almost gets through, gets the offload. Referees, well, the, Upton thought it might have been touched by the Tigers player, trying to suggest to the referee there was six to go, but play on, says the referee, Aiken. And the South Logan Magpies, big metres being gained in the, the charge forward. 
Reeves told to get out of it. Aiken with Ward. Ward puts a kick in here. House is lurking, but it's going to beat her. And Too heavy. Just got a bit of a downhill situation going that way. It is downhill that corner. You're right, Carol. Thanks, Chuck. Obviously, you're... Uh, in the middle. Uh, oh, went out there. Surveyor skills have come to their fore right now. Funny you should say that. I used to uh, be a chainman for my father as soon as I could walk and carry the big stick. There you go. There you go. 25 years later and you bring it into play. <laughs> cool well gets the off lay. They go to the left-hand side. The Tigers behind 12-4. Less than five to go here. Pappy and... Oval here at Bishop Park. Baker steps off left and right. Baker doesn't get away from that. Trying to conjure something, isn't she? Yeah. Well, she be looking for some footy. A bit of a goose step there. Now it's Moore. Moore gets up to play. Meter. I had success with this before. They get the offload, and it's going to be in the hands of Reeves. And going across field. Oh, oh intercept to no. Albert. Albert, the <laughs> second row of Albert is going to be pulled down here, and Albert will get up and play it. Well, the only reason she caught it is because she didn't have time to think about it. Yeah. And they'll get a penalty. Wow. Wow. That wasn't 19. Albert, full of running. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Luck, the footy ended up in the Dukes, and away she went. Yep, you would think she's there to, uh, if you took, just took a quick look, you'd think she's there as a stopper. But uh, she's got a bit of speed about her when she wants to. I don't know how long it'd last, but certainly got run over there pretty quick by East. So once again, the magpies go on their merry way up. Middle lot of footy in this first half, the Tigers... Petulus to be at Honey behind by 12-4 and the amount of possession as Albert steps off the left leg, gets the offload and does get the offload to uh, Gallagher. And Gallagher will get up and play it underneath it. A tackle of Moore. Surely not. Surely not, Meg, uh, Steph Hancock. She's going to make a bust through the middle there and She's getting out there on a wing, John. Yep. She's creeping out. It's a, it's a game play. They go that blind side. is with Upton. And Upton, the worry customer. Upton tries to get there. Reaches out and scores the try. Try to Upton, her yeah. second. Thought about it for a minute. Well, I think there was some conjecture that she may have actually spilt it. but uh, I thought she did, but there you are. I'm a million a miles away. Us, away yeah. I'm old. I've got old eyes. So Upton, another, and uh, Meg Ward wanders over to get the pill. We're two minutes away from half time here. So she backs up her try in the seventh minute. Or 17th minute, I should say. 30 minute halves, two minutes remaining. There'll probably be one set, perhaps, after the resumption. Meg Ward will be taking her time to send her side to the sheds with a at least a 12-point lead. Yeah, they'll be disappointed with that gap, I think, East. I think they probably would have expected they might have matched it a bit better. But just a little bit outsized, I think. They've got some big forwards, but yeah. just, just when you think they're getting some metres under their belt and they get a, an intercept by... Albert, or someone like that, and they just sort of... Yeah, that was, you can't... <laughs> well, it takes the wind out of your sails, doesn't it? Yeah, you can't uh, account for things like that, I guess, so... Mm. That's just bad luck. Here we go. Well, that's not no. going to get no. there. Score remains 16-4. Minute remaining before, before they serve the oranges. So... <laughs> I was going to try to make a joke there because the Tigers are in orange, but I, I got nothing. Mm. Um, the <laughs> I just want to finish the set off here. Kick yeah. deep into the corner and just go to the sheds and re-gas. Yeah, Tigers a bit, as you as you were saying, John, a bit deflated there by, uh, 
by that intercept try and, and mm. all the try that resulted from the intercept. So Baker gets things underway. That's a pretty good kick. Good <laughs> She's all right. They should put her in the team. Sun's starting to send some shadows across Patty and the Oval here, and that's a ball has gone sideways. The referee says play on. Well, we ended up going forward, but the Tigers will have to reset. Aiken tried to get through the market defence, and that's been shut down, and that will be half time. 16 4 here at Pathy Inn Park, North's home ground. 16 4, the Magpies lead the Tigers. Two tries to Upton, one to Smalley, and one try to Coolwell from Eastern Suburbs has a 16 4 score. And we'll take a break, and we'll be back here for eight and a half minutes for the start of the second half here of the. Uh, Wholesome Cup. Shadows certainly taking full effect here at the home of the North Devils. That's right. It's getting cool. The afternoon's cooling off, so they can go at it again here. Uh, East got a bit of a hill to climb, John. Well, for the East Tigers, for mine, they just need to complete sets of six and just not uh, get into this rest in the middle of the park here against the, the South Logan Magpies. They've got too many guns up the middle, led by Hancock and Albert. I think they need to send it wide to their, their speeds as Coolwell, Mapuso. I, I don't think I've called Bottom. Eldridge and Kamita great in the halves there. And Chelsea Baker, if she can inject herself at, the, uh, at various times as she gets things underway here, second half, they might be able to get something out of here, the Tigers. But first of all, they've got to stop this rampage up the middle. The forwards from the South Logan Magpies are just doing what they like, and they're led by this diminutive halfback in, in Aiton. Yep, she's tiny, but mm. she's uh, got it all happening. Siawani. She'll get up and play 12 short of halfway. Aiken. So there's, see, there's forwards just lining up left, right, and centre here for South Logan Magpies. There's another one. Aiken, arms in the air looking for a penalty. Doesn't get it. Branda. Get up and play. Middle of the park. Here. Bit of a juggle. Get out of my way. Massive forward pack here. The South Logan Magpies running up the middle. Yeah, it makes it Ward uh, throws that to absolutely nobody, and that'll be a changeover on the 30, you would think. With that sort of size, you can have a real simple plan and uh, not have to do anything fancy. Just roll it up the park and mm. then start spreading it out wide. So. So anyway, he's got a back, so we'll see what they can do with it. Here they come. Chelsea Baker always dancing. Up together, here. Wait, go. Nice bit of meterage there. Mm. Nine, up and square. Stopped by the smallest player on the park. <laughs> so the Tigers. Well. They need to complete a set. They've got the breeze at their face. It's Reeves gets across the Aiden 40. Just doing an absolute ton of work here. Okay, Oop, misjudged that one. First blemish of the day, I think, and for Upton. And she's going to make up for it. Just a clever little step in there from Upton. Avoiding being put in, put over the put in, put in over the sideline. Cook gets away from one, doesn't get away from the other two that are coming out. Looking for an offload there. It's going to be stopped eventually by Kahika Skipper. Referee says wait. Sounds like William Wallace. The two twenty ones come together. Halfway line's been crossed now by the Magpies. It's now with Ward. 
Albert, full of running, puts the right arm, fend on Ward. Still going is Albert. Albert, get out of my way. Albert will go to the try line and Albert will go over and score. And the try machine keeps rumbling along and it's done it again here at Bishop Park. Albert, uh, the PNG Orchid captain. First try, I think, for South. So Scored one last week. Did you? Yes. Ah, I'm wrong then. <laughs> Scores it in the 33rd minute. Takes the lead out now to 20 points to four. See what Meg Ward can do with that. Well, it's reasonably easy. Yeah. Well, she's just a... Weird breeze, the only factor, so just keeps gusting a little bit here, but she's so close that it shouldn't be the problem. I can't help but think for Albert to wait this conversion here from Ward to take it out to 22 points to four. Elsie Albert would possibly have the same mantra as a former Australian front row Wallaby in Stan Pilecki, who once quoted, there is nothing better than the sound of crushing bone underfoot. <laughs> <laughs> I think at least Albert is probably putting that to the, the four, her four mind when she just charges on there. But the defences of the Tigers outside was just brittle enough for her to bust her way through. And yeah, I thought that was the rugby union uh, catch cry. Yeah, well, it was, but it's <laughs> been brought to... Game played in heaven and hospital. Uh, sorry, Baker will restart again. And a couple of big units Ooh. are off the park at the moment here for South Logan. Still to come oh. back on the parker. Hancock's Hancock and Lewis. Mm. They've got a lot of engine Sia this one. season. See you one. Held says referee, get up and play it. Taking the line, short ball, charging on. Here they go. The Magpies are soaring here at Bishop Park as House is pulled down. Otherwise, she was on her way to the try line. 35 metres out from the line. Forwards in the back line. How beautiful. Oh, lovely take, but just couldn't get the offload. Referee says, didn't say held. Continue on. Play the whistle, gentlemen and ladies. Aiken. Thinking about going the blind side, but players were in the way and in front of her, so she's going to have to do it herself there and runs into a wall. That was uh, was that Cody House with that slips catch? Yeah, it was well a terrific one. 11 metres out, last tackle, cross field kick here now from Sayo. That's going to be allowed to go in, over in, and just eludes the South Logan player there and De La Cruz. Uh, they got the call there, someone uh, from East called Leave It, so. Whoever that was, feeling very fortunate that <laughs> things things went their way. Tap restart here for the East Tigers, and again they need to get quick play the ball. Just one out stuff if they have to, and this way goes Coolwell the try scorer, and Coolwell is going to be smashed into the turf. She's going to come up with red chalk all over her body. She's going to look like she's been rolling on in a comic book. So get up and play it. We're going to come in and do some work this time. It's Tioka. Only a bit of sunshine left here on Parthian Park. Getting in each other's way here, but easy metres around the dummy half area here for the East Tigers. They got to the 40 metre line. Short flat pass here finds yeah, got a bit Elliston. Of, got a bit of pep in this step again here, East. So, yeah, they believe. So, yeah, oh, I'm not going to give it away. There. Yeah, there's a bit of a hospital pass here. It goes Eldridge. Eldridge will get within a metre of the try. I guess the offload try the corner. Has she been denied? Oh, yeah. Gone no. into touch. That was a good run there from Eldridge. Um, just that gap, that player who was in the way initially, That was a, then there was a gap further on, obviously, because she wasn't in it. So Eldridge ran through it. Well done. Cook. Now, Amelia Cook Oop. has played lock forward before as Amelia Cook. When she played for, I think she played for the Panthers, did she not? Ipswich. Maybe. Yes, Ipswich. They unable to feel the side this uh, season. So some of those players have been sprinkled throughout the four remaining clubs. 
Aiken options, left and right, centre of Bishop Park. Decides to find Siawani, stands in the tackle, still going. Siawani almost gets out of that tackle there of uh, Moore. Gets up and play it, Aiton. They're going to come to this blind side towards the hill. Show and go, and nice. He's done there by Sayo. Siawani will go forward now. She's got some metres under about Siawani. They've got some craft about them too. I've been talking about them like they're all muscle souse, but uh, got some crafty moves as well. Ward right into the sun there. Nicely taken on the far side there by Winger and Tioka. Like that kick. That was a crafty kick. A lot of Tigers with hands on hips at the moment. Wind just picking up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Coolwell tries to make something out of nothing. Gets a penalty against Hancock now. I'm going to suggest that Steph Hancock might remonstrate with the umpire, referee, and she did. <laughs> and didn't change his mind. Like you Nostradamus, mate. Well, Gee. I don't know whether her dad Rowan was so up front with referees, but Steph Hancock always asking the question. <laughs> Kamita will find touch. Well done. All right, East. I got uh, 20 minutes to go here and change, so. Yeah, 22-4. They need three tries. Baker now comes in, gets some metres. Baker just threw herself at the line like a missile. Halfway line about to be crossed here. A dart from dummy half for these Tigers. Well, they're trying to, their hardest. They're not giving up here, the, the yeah, team from Langlands. A, I think there's some someone new on the field. I just can't pick who it is. He's got the. He's brought a bit of energy with them, I think. Seven straight away, right side nine. Wait, a couple of tackles three. still to go for East. Ball back inside Ooh. does a little bit of a juggling. This Alistair kept, oh, kept it well done. Yep, pulled it in here. Dart from dummy half. A Whoops. bit of a shimmy as <laughs> sheep. Kahika skipper. <laughs> oh, wouldn't look out of place at Fridays. That sort of footwork. They go to the blind side, thinking about the. Uh, Cut out pass is going to be batted in the hands of Cook and they'll come away with the footy South Logan so they can't do anything right at the back end of their six to six, the uh, Tigers. Beautiful hands here in this game. Um, the first game we saw some dropping, but... Uh... No, you're right, the handling yeah. both sides has been quite good. This uh, is it, this Hancock. Goes forward, Hancock. Gets the offload out the back here. She's on her own here now. There's the uh, the magpie. And the, the sideline is coming Ooh. closer. But getting away. Good run there from Dela Cruz. Dela Cruz, who's on her own. Uh, East defence just got uh, enamoured of the sideline there and just lost concentration of their grip. Oh, hello. Oh. Orange wall. <laughs> absolute shot and a half right underneath the rib cage. There's an absolute beauty there from Reeves. Stopped her in the tracks. Yeah. Albert gets the offload. Hancock. She gets another offload it's with uh, Sayo. Putting it through the hands here of the uh, Magpies and Mikayo. And that's going to go end over end. It's going to, oh, throws it back over the end. There's Amelia Cook. They've still got the footy here as Cody House goes for a bit of a dance with the white boots. Puts a nice don't argue on. Goes straight to the play and gets finally pulled down on the halfway line. Enterprising footy. Yeah, party, party tricks coming out here. From the Magpies, almost Jets football. Hancock puts a big one up into the sky. Goes for Coolwell's. Loud to bounce. Hancock! Hancock! Can she get it? She does. Gets the offload. <laughs> Try time. Oh, Steph Hancock, genius. Comes to Bishop Park and they come up with a try. Well, there, it, there's something you don't see every day, John. Absolute beauty. A scored, I think, by Cody Slaughterhouse. I'll have to check the number. Looks like she's pretty happy. So, uh... well, it was Cody House. Yep. Hayley Maddock, I beg your pardon. So, Maddock has come up with a try. Number five, you were right, sir. Uh, oh, five, wait. not 15. Yeah, That's, five. There you go. They look similar. They do Maddock look similar. And House and Gallagher. <laughs> Put different numbers on them. Well, as for heaven's said, sake. It's, it's the, uh, but uh, fantastic work there from the veteran who's uh, turning back the clock this season, I guess, uh, this shorter season. She doesn't have to pamper herself. And she's retired from representative stuff, hasn't she? So, uh -uh. no? I don't think so. I think, well, 
because you, you it's, think this is putting oh, my hand up? Oh, well, because it's a shorter officer? season, like six weeks. Yeah. Whereas instead, you know, she had about 12 or 14 rounds of footy. So yeah. she probably thought, like, I was concentrating on club. Yeah. But now the opportunity, obviously, with a shortened season, uh, a longer layoff. Yeah. Um, will extend some players, and the conversion is successful from Ward, so it takes that to 28 points to four. Um, yeah, you just get that spring you step, you want to keep going and realise, you know, anything could happen the next couple of weeks here in Queensland or anywhere in, in Australia and your footy's yeah. rubbed out, get out there and play. But I, I wouldn't write Steph Hancock from putting the Maroon jersey on if she gets selected by Jason Hetherington and company, but she's putting, putting a name up there. She's absolutely... Having a blinder. I'd be nervous if I was a younger forward. I'll say that. Well, like I said, I, I think yep, nope, Jason had to just thrown the whole 18 out the window and said, we'll start again. Last she's year doesn't matter. skipping back to a place here. <laughs> if I was Chelsea Baker, I would not kick to the left-hand side of the field because that's where Steph Hancock is and she's starting to wind up. She's like the coyote. <laughs> I think she's more like the anvil. The anvil, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're just waiting for a footy, are we, or a kicking tee? I don't know. Kicking tee. So two tries to Upton, one to Smalley in the first half, now a try to Maddock and well, that Albert was, in the second half. That was not what East needed, so I'll be disappointed with that. Well, they're going to test this left-hand side. As here comes Hancock. Oh. She's not going to get the footy. She's oh. got, well, she had to go a little bit flat-footed now, Hancock, but the size is still... Charge into three defenders. Mapusa, one of them. Along with Door. Magpies. 28 points to four. 15 and a half minutes still remaining. Aiton has got options left and right. Decides to go to the the blind side. Oh, it goes without it. Unfortunately, this house is going to come up with it now. The Tigers. See what happens. Hang on to it. I thought she was going to try the offload there. It's only the first tackle. Full magpie swoop on her. Don't know whether markers were straight there, but they're not going to get the penalty. Aiden's the tackler. She'll get up and play it now. We'll Kaika Skipper. The, shouldn't have talked about the safe hands. No. With Dora. Dora. Lewis grabs her from behind. Wrestles her to the ground. 80 now from the try line. Kahika Skipper. They go to the right hand side. They've got numbers again here for the Tigers. They turn it back inside. And head towards the upright, the Tigers, for one last opportunity in this set of six. They go to the right-hand side, back the other way. Thank you very much. Kahika Skipper ends up with a footy. They're throwing to anybody. It's now with Sayatia. And Sayatia will drive with the legs there, get within five of the try line. Numbers to the left here for East. They go that way. Kamita turns it back inside. Away she goes now to Theodore. And Theodore's close to the chalk as well. Hancock in the way. Theodore takes a couple of steps back. They go to the left-hand side. Kamita again coming out of the line there as House. Coolwell's with the footy and Coolwell will roll it back to absolutely nobody. It's the last tackle. He's going to have to put it in the air. Mapusa. They're going to keep it alive. They've got numbers here. Crossfield kick here from Eldridge. Is anybody home? There is. It's going to be Della Cruz will bring it back into the field of play. So breakdown of communications. Again, the Tigers unable to finish a set of six productively. Is that Amelia Cook again? I beg your pardon. I think you're right. Yeah. She's been doing a good good uh, job of goalkeeping back there. Albert. Get up and play it, Aitken. It's a dummy oh, half. <laughs> so 13 and a half remaining. This is the trouble, Aitken. isn't it? It takes four of them to stop one. Mm. House. And she's a goose step. Back into her old form, Cody oh, House. Door. Tackler, along with... Door and Theodore. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Lewis is lurking. Goes without her. Hancock's there. Hancock with a bit of a fend. Hancock across halfway. Gives it off to Upton. Upton the fullback to beat. Upton's got options. Tries to get away from Coolwell. Does so. Still going Upton. And Upton will score her third try this afternoon. Moving, oh, the uh, nimble-footed Upton. What a pass from Steph Hancock. There's uh, nothing she can't do today. So Upton gets her third. And she'll put her name in the frame for fullback. Along with the Galaxy of Stars. And Sean Felt, Karina Brown, some great fullbacks. Chelsea Baker. Chelsea Baker. Yeah, Upton's been um, coming off the bench. 
for the Maroons. So. Well, she just, uh, as all good fullbacks do, they just turn up at the right time. Yep. And they find, they pick up the scraps and, you know, they get the try next to them. But the, you're right, Carol, is the, uh, the Hancock. Just perfect. Should, yeah, pass it, uh, put the gap through. So, well, it's not very often. Well, it's early days yet. Did a couple of goose steps there after she'd passed it, much like Chelsea Baker did, just to make sure that it was awkward for a couple of East to go after Upton. So, yeah, being a forward, there's 12 minutes to go. Upton scored three tries. I oh, know, but I'm still leaning towards at the moment. Hancock is. Yeah, it's hard to. Uh, the match at the moment. It's hard to go past that. Well, wait there. <laughs> Meg Ward. Add the extras, 32 points to four, 11 and a half remaining here. Wholesome Cup round two. Broadcast to you live. Successful is the Good. conversion on the Q Connect network, qrl.com.au, and on the QRL Facebook page. And a good evening to those in New Zealand and Papua New Guinea and anywhere else in the world where you're tuned into the rugby league capital of the world. 34 4 to uh, the absolutely stacked. South Logan side. The ones few, just landed. A few magpies uh, swooping us here. So yeah. I, I saw a sign with a magpie on it in the park today, and I tweeted. I wondered whether it was a sign. It was a sign. It had a magpie on it. You said <laughs> <laughs> like an omen. An omen. I see. You. I saw no tigers in the park. Ah. So I guess that's understandable. Though. Okay, Baker wants to get away from <laughs> Hancock. Decides to go to the. To the eastern side, and Oop. that's going to be knocked on. Knocked on. The chance here now for the Tigers play on, says the referee has been tidy up on the far side there by. Yeah, see if they can get a couple of back here, the Easts. Make them feel better about next week. Cook the first carry. Pushed onto a back. Lewis and company involved. Dart from dummy half and finally finds Sayatia and she gets absolutely smashed by Aiken and Lewis and company. She'll get up and wonder what hit her. Blindside, reaching out for not the ideal pass. Long ball, nicely taken, hands over the head, the AFL style. Comes back into the field, played as uh, Tia Kea. And somehow South have come up with a footy. Is that Cook again? No. So South... Again, the, the end of a set of six there from the Tigers, just not what was in the script. Lewis now, run into three Tigers, still trying to get every inch out of her carry. As Lewis gets up, good front, gets to her feet quickly. Again, the magpie machine rolls on up the middle. Yeah, it just t takes so many, I know, like a broken record, just takes so many to stop them. Well, Hancock was thinking about it was the last and was going to put a kick on. Instead, they're going to put it through the hands with Upton. A no-look pass gives it off there to Ward. Ward thinking about the off -way. Gets it away there to uh, De La Cruz. De La Cruz! De La Cruz beats one. Gets away from Kua. And De La Cruz will go over and score a try. And she'll put that down underneath the black dot. And De La Cruz will come up with her first for the afternoon. So that's... Uh, I was about to say... Uh, I wonder if that'll... Uh, be frowned upon that cut-out pa pass that missed Hancock. Uh, well, I, oh, <laughs> I think originally uh, Hancock was uh, was stepping back actually for the kick on the last, but there's still a couple of tackles to go, so they decided to run, and that's when Hancock decided to get out of the way. Meanwhile, the Tigers probably were targeting their defence towards Hancock because she has been damaging, and they decided, OK, we'll go wide. Yep. And a lovely little break there by by the De La Cruz, tiptoed down the sideline, went inside, beat Coolwell and made her way to the try line and they come up with another four points with eight minutes remaining, 38 points to four as Ward will take this conversion attempt. Tell you what, these players have not been stinting on their fitness and uh, speed while well, they've been off this last year. They are fit. Well, I said to uh, Joe Barrett in the previous game, that uh, I'd like to see how good this rugby league will be after another two weeks of match fitness under the belt, after uh, what I've seen in week two. The week NRL, one was... The NRLW is just going to be fantastic. Mm. Wait for Ward. I think uh, New South Wales have, have played a quite a long season down there. So. 38 point, 40 points to four, I should say. 
and once again they'll heads are down. But I've, I've liked the Tigers when they've when they've got the ball in hand. They haven't given up. They just haven't had that last tackle option. I don't know. They just need a little bit more talk out there to what to do on the last, long before the ball actually comes into the dummy half's hands yeah, and, on and tackle five. Although Chelsea Baker's obviously an asset, she just joined them like a oh, couple yeah. of days ago. So Yeah, I'd like to see... Uh, I mean, kamita has got a great kick on her. She's mm-hmm. gone missing. Let's see, East Tigers wait for that darn kicking tee again. One job, kicking tee, man. <laughs> Chelsea Baker will line up again, kicking to the eastern side. Almost the whole ground covered in shadow now. Getting quite cool. Yeah, it's really dropping like a shot, the old temperature. Mm. So Cook comes in field, pushes away from one, goes forward, gets run straight out of the top there of Ladbrook Park and Aiken, a dummy half. KO gets across the 40, so they're getting about 10 to 12 metres with every tackle. Blindside, there's another 12 under the 15, making nearly 20. Tackle is Baker on the far side. Reaching out for it is Upton, gets the offload, turns it back inside, and waiting for the South player was Door, a Theodore, I should say. Wrong door. <laughs> All through many of those, plenty of times. <laughs> Get out of my way, says uh, Maddock, the try scorer. Still hungry, South Logan. Want some more? Yeah. It's the last one here. Now, the option here for, for South Logan, always a little bit better as Sayo puts that in the corner. A nice take in the back there by okay. Bay, Bay Millie Tolapaya. Blind side, running around a couple of our own players. To get through there was Tia Kayo. High shot there. Referee says play on. It's just a loose arm. Tackle there is Say of the halfback along with Aitken. Get up and play now. Radbrook Parkin. Short ball. Lovely ball to, th- to door. <laughs> Absolutely smashed. Aitken underneath. Oh, the breakthrough here now for uh, Eldridge. Eldridge is trying to get away from Upton. Eldridge is going to be pulled down there by Cook. Pulls her down. She's made some fantastic runs uh, today, Eldridge. Kamita, that goes over the top of her head. Has to be tidied up. Long pass down here to Cool World. Last tackle here. Can they do something better with this last set of six? Back inside, and it's a forward pass. And I'm telling you now, it's going to be a coach killer. Every last tackle option here from the Tigers has come unstuck. And it'll be a change over the set of Logan. Four remaining. That's a real hard thing to train for that last play mm. uh, up to the try line. So I think they might try that next week. Now we've got to play it out. Clock stopped at four uh, minutes. Yep. It might be Amelia Cook, is it? Maybe. Maybe looking at the sheds. To she was. I thought she wasn't on before, but yeah, she may have. Snuck back. As the we look through the skies, and yeah, another aeroplane going somewhere. Where no, are you going? Not with many on it, I don't think. <laughs> I find it quite amusing that I go to uh, a supermarket and they say you got flybys. I said, well, I do. <laughs> <You don't laughs> I don't know where well, I'm going to use them. them. <laughs> can, I, can I give it to a penguin? They've always wanted to fly. I don't even know what airline that is. So, restart about to get underway as South Logan will get a changeover. Time back on. Four to go. Still a lot of chat out there here from the Magpies. They're looking for some more points. Ward gets to her feet nice and quick. Centre of the park again go the South Logan Magpies. That's where they've been winning the game here this afternoon. They've just got too many... Big bodies in motion up the middle of the park. That's right. They can slow play the ball. House steps off the left and right, going back in field and finally gets tackled. That's um, Water, beg your pardon? Or is it? Your the friend, the greatest. Maddox, Maddox, number five. 
This one's saying about the numbers. <laughs> Make them dye their hair a different colour. Well, Chelsea Baker, God bless her. Kick up here now as uh, Coolwell takes it nicely on the fly. Coolwell is going to try and get away. Nice little don't argue there from Coolwell. She's done her best all day. A lovely shot on Dela Cruz. Dela Cruz comes from dummy half and will be penalised, not standing square. So they get a bit of something here, East. I'm sure they'd like to uh, trot across the line at least once more here. Well, that's not going to go out. Upton will end up with a footy on the halfway line. Upton will get picked up and <laughs> driven by Ladbrook Parkin. Eight and dummy half. South Logan. Again, rolling up the middle. They're lining up here, the forwards, with Lewis. Drives forward. This time they put Lewis on the back. It takes a little bit longer to get get to her feet. Does so. Blind side. House. Good to see Jamie Lewis playing so much of the game. She was out injured for some of it last week. So, uh, Upton thought about a flick pass, but she'd overrun it. Did uh, she's got Hora. great, great control, good decision making. Upton so uh, puts a kick in. It's going to be tied up here now by Mapusa. And Mapusa will come up with a footy on the 10 metre line. 10 in, 90 seconds remaining in the contest. Now Dar from Dummy Hart by Vamili Tolapaya. Dar from Dummy Half, Tio Kaya. So they all grab her. So to the small players coming together. Baker from dummy half. Steals some bit. Gets away from eight and almost gets away from Sayo. Halfway lines cross. Dart from dummy half. Mark is a little bit asleep, but it's uh, just that little bit from Baker. This that little bit of energy from Baker there. People now they're now they're up on their toes. Like there's you know, like they're four points behind. Last play. Kicks it straight down the throat of Amelia Cook. Now, this, anything could happen here. She, oh, she runs into a wall. Steps out of that tackle on the far side there from Tia Kea. Okay, let her go, Lee. Don't play in order. Wait. Cook gets up Don't on the 30. Blind side. They try to get some metres on that far side here at Pathian Stadium. Yeah, you've got seconds ticking down now. South Logan. Can they put another one on? 25 seconds remain. Still got a couple of tackles here with the Maggies. Yeah, they want to keep this out, East. I thought Lewis was going to get it. Well, oh. not really sure. Said kept going. Says the referee and Sayo will come up with a 40 standing in the tackle. Has to okay, surrender now. because of running around one of our own players. Tackle number four. It's Matic. Upton steps off the left. Upton, oh, Upton kidding. on the way to the toilet line again. <laughs> Upton, cool will in the way, but Upton will stroll over and score right on the closing. Minutes of full time, and it is full time, and Upton comes up with her fourth try of the match. And the South Logan Magpies race to a 44-point lead with a kick to come. Yeah, 44-4 here at uh, Pathian, and a uh, kick to come for South. Well, give it, a, give it a Hancock for a kick. That's right. Well, the Fords have a crack. <laughs> well, House has got that thing under her wing. She's not giving it to anyone. Actually, yeah. Hancock might be out there. Give it a. Yeah, they're pretty happy about. Uh, they're pretty happy about this situation, South Logan. Yeah, the Fords just paved the way for a big win here this afternoon. Yeah. Meg Ward will come up to take this conversion. Forty-four points to four. Comprehensive victory here to the South Logan Magpies. The only try coming to East in the way of Coolwell in the 22nd minute. Upton with four tries in the 17th, 28th, 48th and 59th minute. So Smalley with a try in the third minute. Maddock with a try in the 42nd minute. And Albert with a bustering try in the 33rd minute to moving. seal this win. And Meg <laughs> Ward <laughs> slices that one. Full time here, Wholesome Cup round two. From Pathian Stadium, the South Logan Magpies run out winners, 44 points to four. 
and a good afternoon to you. Thank you so much to uh, Norse for hosting us here this afternoon. Carol Weichel, thank you for your company. John Devine, on behalf thank myself, you. John Devine and also to Joe Barrett on the game earlier. We thank you for your time. We look forward to you next week when the Wholesome Cup Round 3 continues. We look forward to your company next week. Bye for now.